Hello, beautiful Scorpio. Welcome into my channel, Miss Reamy Healings. My name is Reem, and welcome into your romantic love life reading. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Scorpio. We're going to look at your soul to soul connections. We're going to take a look at the person that you are watching for, the person that you are connected to. We're going to take a look at where, <clears throat> excuse me, where their energetic space is, where your energetic space is. Okay, and then we're going to take a look at the energy of the connection between the two of you. And then we're going to pull um, a, pull tarot and do a tarot spread for, for you guys. Um, I have a really big disclaimer in the description box below. Please read it. I'm not going to reiterate or summarize it here. You guys know me. Uh, you guys know the drill. It's general. Um, we, we do not support toxic relationships here. That is a big no-no. We're here to transmute any energies that need to be let go of so you can align to what you deserve okay this is all about alignment this is about growth and this is about healing we're not here to perpetuate any negative energy that's not not needed in your life okay so let's get it let's get it okay um happy new year I love you guys so very much. I just also uploaded your spiritual growth reading. So if you feel guided to that, please go ahead and watch it. It was really, really powerful stuff for those of you on a spiritual path. Um, this is a Hidden Realms Oracle. Sorry, let me move these. This is what I'm going to use to get the energy reading for your person, for the person that you're connected to at this time. For the person that you are connected with um, so i'm going to get a card for them and then i'm going to get a card for you okay so let's see oops i have the cards upside down <laughs> all right beautiful beautiful scorpio sun moon rising and venus archangel michael ancestors known and unknown great grandmother nyla angels of the most high Thank you for your guidance. Thank you for your protection. What messages do you have for Scorpio and their soul to soul connection romantically? What messages do you have? Let's talk about their person first, please. What message do you have for their person? Where is their person is energetically? All right, you have the resting tree, patience and stillness. Okay, your person is still at this time. Uh, you have here the arrow master at the bottom of that. I'm going to take that as well. Uh, hitting, hitting the mark, intention and detachment. Number 10. Okay, that's for your person here. Your person is still. Okay, your person is still. They're still because they're waiting for the right moment, for the right opportunistic time to shoot an arrow, meaning to send you a message or to communicate their feelings or to express or to come forward, whatever it may be for you, they're still right now. So you might feel their energy being pulled back a little bit, but just like the arrow, you pull the arrow back and then it shoots forward, okay? So that's the energy that your person is in. Your person is still at this time. It could be a Virgo. I'm feeling hermit energy of stillness, okay, of going within, of kind of withdrawing their energy. Again, they're withdrawing the arrow so that the arrow can shoot forward. This person has genuine intentions for you, okay? And this person knows what it means to be detached and not attached, okay? So this is beautiful. This is not codependency. They're very independent, okay? It's like, they have their eye on you, okay? They have their eye on you. They're very direct. And look at this arrow here with the treasure chest that's open. I feel like this is your, your energy here in the corner. See the arrow? I don't know if you can see the arrow, but it's getting ready to shoot into this treasure chest, meaning someone's heart could be seeing 1022 specifically okay let's um let's get a message for scorpio please in their energy their energetic space 
You have here the High Lady of Love and Compassion, Reverence, Kindness, and Consideration. Number one. One more, please. Sorry, you have here the Eyes of Beauty, number 25, Positive Expectations and Clarity. I feel like you are in this energy of receptivity, or that's your guidance, okay? But I definitely feel like you guys are extremely kind, you're extremely considerate, you are giving this person space. I feel like this person, I don't know if they've asked for space, but you are extremely considerate of this person's energy, you're extremely considerate of this person's time. You do have positive expectations, okay? I do see that you guys are clear of this energy. I don't see you being confused of why they pulled back a little bit. I don't see you um, like wallowing or self-sabotaging. Okay, that's not the energy that I'm getting. You have positive expectations of this energy. You have clarity over the situation, okay? So let's see the energy between the two of you, between this connection. Uh, this is using the Wisdom Oracle. If you guys are in this energy of confusion, okay, I feel like you will receive the clarity that you need to receive over why this person may have, um, you know, withdrawn their energy back but I don't feel that they're with being withdrawn for long, okay? You don't hold an arrow. You don't withdraw the arrow uh, and hold it there forever. It needs to shoot forward, okay? So there is a forward progression. I feel like you guys intuitively know this. This feels extremely genuine. I love it. It's beautiful. Someone has really beautiful eyes. Um, they may have told you that they love your eyes. Um, they may have told you that, yeah, they may have told you that they love your eyes. Sorry, they're channeling to me. All right, at the bottom of that, you have here peace, number 23. It could be saying doves. Wow, you have here serendipity, number 18. And then at the bottom of that, you have a change in the wind, number 12. Let me show, let me hold up the card, sorry. Well, they came out like this. This is really interesting because I feel like this is a progression. You see the egg? The egg hatches, someone emerges, and then there's movement forward here with the change in the wind. Okay. This serendipity is all about trust. This is a four-leaf clover. I am uh, also getting that this person might be a Sagittarius. Okay, it doesn't have to be, but um, because I'm seeing the bow and arrow... See, this zebra is following north, true north. Okay, they're moving in that direction, north here at the top. It's like going true north. I'm not going to be cheesy and say you're their true north. It's just they're, they know where they're moving to. They know what direction they need to move in. This person knows what they want. Okay. They know what they want. Serendipity is a very like auspicious time. It's all about trust. It's about trusting the trusting the timing of everything. I feel like it's going to be really surprising. This is all about extreme luck, good fortune. out of the blue, very synchronistic, okay? It's just, it's going to be in the perfect time.
time. And the dove here representative of peace is all about love. Seven of Pentacles is the overall energy. Yeah, I feel like you're... Let me tell you something about waiting. This is a word that gets very misconstrued in readings. We don't wait for anybody. No one. Okay? We don't wait. Okay? What this energy is, is that you are understanding of divine timing. You understand that everything happens in the right moment, in the right time. They're doing what they need to do. You're doing what you need to do. You're both focused independently on what you need to do, but you understand waiting, so to speak, of the right time. If you're waiting in a low vibrational sense of constantly focused on this other person, these two cards would not be here. This would be self-sabotage, uh, this uh, scarce consciousness energy of, oh my God, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Okay, but I don't feel like you're in this energy. You're holding yourself up and understanding your self-worth and saying, I know what this connection is. I trust in divine timing, serendipity. I trust. I trust it'll be ready when it's time. This connection brings you both a lot of peace. Okay, I'm going to get into the energy in just a little bit. Let me get all the cards out. They want me to do it in rows. So one second. Place that nine of cups underneath peace. Serendipity. You have the three of pentacles, which is divinity. Which is you, them, the divine. You, them, the universe. Look at that. See? Two of Cups. Underneath the Seven of Pentacles. The King of Swords. Underneath the Change in the Wind card. Ten of Cups. Let's finish off your row. The second row. Underneath Peace. Have here two of wands the chariot beautiful divine timing divine timing six of cups last card <laughs> king of swords Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of that. Beautiful. All right, let's go. With the Peace card and the Nine of Cups and the Two of Wands. I feel like the both of you have extreme peace in this connection you feel peaceful with one another you give them peace they give you peace there's a sense of understanding here between the two of you again it's your kindness and your consideration of this person's time it's like they've never felt this peaceful with anyone because you're so considerate you're so considerate it's 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 beautiful i feel that consideration it's like this person saying i need some space or i need some time even if they didn't communicate that to you, okay, I feel like this is just an inner knowing. Okay, maybe this person is going through some changes. Okay, changes the wind is here. Um, okay, and again, you have the word patience under the resting tree. This person is really patient. Okay, this person is literally um, a very uh, mature individual. They are very mature and you are extremely kind, loving, and considerate. And they love that about you. 
so this peaceful energy is just like it's just like comfort so comforting so so comforting okay this is spirit also saying that if you do feel a little bit anxious okay this is about going back to understanding timing divine timing there you will find peace in that okay you guys know if you, if someone is your person or if they're not this is not someone treating you like garbage again read my disclaimer below not that i can't emphasize that enough okay this is a genuine connection this is so beautiful nine of cups it's just like this contentment they really love to indulge in this peace energy with you that's what i'm getting here they're choosing peace you're their peace and they are your peace that's what they're choosing here they love this feeling with you now serendipity the chariot with the three of pentacles this is the universe this is the universe this is you them and the divine this is a uh, divine timing the chariot only moves when it's the right time only moves when it's supposed to and here you do have the chariot and you have here yin and yang energies the chariot to me as a reader as a channeler always comes out for me when something is meant to move forward this is meant to move forward again in divine timing the chariot also um, follows the north star there's a star on the chariot and here we already talked about a change in the wind okay following north this is about this person and their intention again their intention is really strong they know exactly what they want they know exactly where to move okay you both of your intentions for one another is very clear i don't sense any sort of confusion in what way shape or form again if you have some sort of confusion or clarity perhaps this reading is that confirmation for you okay but again please read the disclaimer below please use your discernment always use your discernment that is your gift we all have that gift of discernment I'm also getting this energy with you that you haven't showed a lot of yourself to this person yet. It's like you're going to open yourself up because there's a veil. This person is, you're wearing a, um, this shimmering veil right here. It's almost like you're not showcasing all of you. Okay, so I don't know for some of you if you have been, been intimate with them or not. It doesn't matter. I, some of you may not have. But the point is, is that you're mysterious to them. There's something that's very enticing about you because you haven't opened up all the way. You haven't showed them every card, so to speak. Not in a devious way, but in a way of, I'm going to see where this goes. Because I feel something here, but I'm going to see where it goes. This is divine timing. It's going to happen unexpectedly beautifully in the right time is it january maybe just because this reading is happening in january for the month of january energy is fluid time is an illusion this might happen later on okay you have to use your discernment and every one of you are on different timelines okay
and there's the other person's timeline as well in this reading that is to be taken into consideration. Now, with the Seven of Pentacles, the King of Swords, and the Six of Cups, see detachment, right? The Arrow Master says detachment. So yes, this person is detached, as are you. You match them. Queen of Swords, King of Swords, not female or male gender specific. This is a really beautiful energy. Detachment is beautiful. This isn't like detaching emotionally. This isn't detaching because I feel this person feels for you and you feel for them. I feel like that is known. Okay, I feel like you know. In, intuitively, you know because you heard it. It's just a knowing that you both have. Okay? This detachment is the understanding of I am not codependent. The understanding that you both are very independent individuals. The understanding that I am connected to everything, but I am not attached. You guys are connected. You guys aren't attached to one another. Okay, that's codependency. You guys are connected. That's what's so beautiful about this connection. And that's what makes it so powerful is that you both have that understanding of connectedness. You guys just connect really well. You guys have this just like understanding with one another. It's like this person has never felt this much consideration or understanding from another person. Anyway, this King of Swords here with the Seven of Pentacles and the Six of Cups, again, it's like this familiar energy about this connection. Okay, this is very much representative of soulmates. Um, for some of you, past life soulmates, okay? So that's where this familiar energy comes from of knowing each other before. This is also just comfort. Again, it's like, I'm very comfortable with you. I feel peace with you. Some of you could go way back with this person. I'm not saying this is someone from your past returning. I'm not saying any of that. What I'm saying is that some of you have known each other for a long time and you just have this understanding, okay? This King of Swords knows exactly when is the right time to move, to say, to express, okay? They're very mature and they're very clear. So, so clear, as are you with the next row, matching their energy and they match your energy, the Queen of Swords, and the Ten of Cups with the change in the wind. Ten of Cups is an emotional connection. Again, there's that word, connection. I just got goosebumps. I'm going to talk about it with the Ace of Pentacles because this is laying down a, a very stable foundation. You can say this is commitment. You can say this is an offer. What I feel is that this is something stable. This is something that you guys are going to cultivate and formulate together. Together laying down a very firm foundation together based on this connection, the connectedness, and the understanding that you two have for one another. And you both bring an emotional connection. You both have an emotional connection. You both will have emotional bliss, emotional joy, emotional fulfillment with a stable foundation with something tangible with something that you can see in the reality with something that you can build on okay this is about building this ace of pentacles is about building okay because that's what relationships are their work it's about building okay for some of you yes this is the, this is this person saying do you want to do this together? Maybe there's maybe they're gonna be blunt in that regard because I'm seeing here King and Queen of Swords. This person's gonna be blunt. Do you want to do this together or not? 
right? Maybe that's their way of saying, do you want to commit to me? But this person, it's like, it's all about patience, knowing when the right time to move, and building together. Building together. Okay? A change in the wind. It's changing. Okay? This connection is like moving in the right direction because you both have these intentions. Very beautiful, solid. This is solid, solidarity. Not only like emotional solidarity, but a, a foundational solidarity. Okay? It's a really beautiful connection. I love it. I absolutely love the energy that you two have. It's just a, a mutual understanding, a mutual connected, emotional connected energy. It's peaceful. I feel peaceful in this space. It's beautiful. Um, so this was your reading. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll show you... Or sorry, I'll, I'll just close it off with some of the signs, okay? So, um, Cancer is here with the Chariot. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. With the Sword energy here. Pisces. Could be another Scorpio for some of you. And I'm also feeling Taurus or Virgo energy. Okay, but please also don't try not to focus too much on the signs. Okay, but that's just what I see here in this reading. I love you guys so very much. Thank you again. Happy New Year.